welcome back again another video uh this is probably going to be the last one of this year <clears throat> i've had a bit of time off and everything so it's probably the last one i'll get in this year on on truck side so i'm hoping to do some more reviews in, in the new year but we'll see tell me what you enjoy tell me what you prefer the car reviews or the or the work i'm doing so just let me know so this one i'm doing um rear discs and hub seals uh, on a 4x2 DAF CF Euro 6. So I've already done near side. That's had a new hub on it as well. So I've pretty much done that side. I ain't going to film me rebuilding that. So I'm going to start stripping the off side down. So 32 mil wheel nuts. Let's get the wheels off and then I'll show you through the process of what I take off, what I de adjust, any kit that I might use. We'll go through torque figures and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed, if you think about subscribing, even better. And I'll see you in a bit. So the next job is we're gonna all these bolts out here on the half shaft 24 mil they are brake chamber two brake chamber nuts there 24 mil and then 10 mil for the address on the back of the caliper you need one of these there uh, if some little sausage hasn't robbed it and it lasted it i always give spare my book so yeah let's get all them out brake chamber off and we'll get the pads out and we'll go from there So as a surprise, the adjusting bolt is missing at the back of it, so here's my arm, one is um one is packed off and then think about getting the caliper off. Just keep one at back so you can't click no more. Don't go too far, that's it. Air wound off, see if the cut off is free. Tight but yeah, so that's the pads wound out. This chamber out the way. Let's get, I normally just little clip here, pull the clip out, wash her off, knock the pin out, and then you can pull the pads out. And then we'll start thinking about getting the caliper off. So, let's get the caliper off. Um, I use this three quarter bar. And they are a 26 mil bolt. Why well, they couldn't make it at 27, I have no idea. So yeah, 26 mil. Let's get the caliper off, get that out of the way. And then we'll be getting kind of, then we'll start getting the hub nut up, which is tight, very, very tight. So anyway, let's get the caliper off and we'll go from there. shoulder bolt it's just to line the caliper up the hole inside will be bigger and you'll be when i pull the caliper off you'll see where the bolt goes there's like a little bit with no thread and then thread where this bolt where this bolt goes in so yeah, one more bolt and then we'll pull the caliper off so this is the last stage pulling everything off it is a 100 and five mil. So you can either use inch gun three quarter. I'm using a three quarter with this one. 
So we're gonna get the nut off, spacer off, and then we'll pull the whole lot off. And then there'll be an O-ring in there, which I'll show you. So yeah, last little stage. Let's get this undone, and then we can pull it off and start stripping it all. So, I'm gonna split the disc from the hub. Now with these, whatever you do, don't get half inch gun and just gun them straight because you've got more chance of breaking them. So, it's just a female Torx bit, like that, it's E14. Put them on, oh, what I normally do is, just get a hammer, the extension, just tap them just to shock them a little bit. And then I use a, about a three quarter, uh, extendable three at ratchet. Put your legs around the disc in the hub and crack them off. And then I use, I've got a snap on three eight uh, electrical ratchet. So just to help ease them off. So let's get these cracked out and then we'll think about splitting it. And I'll show you inside where the seal sits as well. I'll show you as much as I can with it. So yeah, let's get these cracked off and we'll go from there. So there's the um, there's the bolts out. These are little kiddies here. They've got like uh, these are like they spring down when you tighten them up. So just be careful when you are undoing them that they don't spring up and hit you in the head. You don't want to be hitting the snacky with them. So well um, on these there's like little spaces. They sit in between the hub and the disc. So they're like, it's like a bridge. Uh, hang on, let me show you, right there. So if you look here, you'll see these little spaces here and here. So they just bridge across and then the bolt goes right, on top, just like that. So you screw it down. So yeah, that's probably why it's so hard to split the disc because these have been in here for since factory. So yeah, this is it's the next this is the next sort of stage of getting it. We're going to split the disc from the hub, um, and then we're going to clean it. We're going to change the excite ring. We're going to change the ABS sensor. We're going to do the whole lot because right we see it. If you if you're doing that, you might as well just do the whole lot and it's done then, isn't it? So let's get splitting the disc from the hub. So. Now I'm set up to get this disc off. Bring your bolts all out. So people do it a different way. People can put a bit of cardboard down or I've got an old mat. It's just gonna affect any shit. Um, some people put them down and then just fucking hit, hit it with hammer, sledgehammer. But this way it's just a little bit more controlled and a little bit more easier to do it. So I think some people can, I don't think you can press these. Oh, you might be able to do that way. But yeah, so I'm gonna, what I'll do is I get a sledgehammer and I've got a bit of space here just to hit it down, turn the disc round and, and just work my way round and get it off. So they are tight coming off and it's going to take a bit of time to get off. So I'll time lapse this, get this disc off and then we'll get it all cleaned up. So that's it off. These are the little things I said to you about. They're what sit in between a disc and then the bolt sits in between them and on top. So yeah, this way, fucked. This way I find easy to do it. People do it a different way. Like anything, not everyone always does the same way. So. This way, put the mat down. It's not as dirty, still a mess, but it's easy to clean up. So we'll get this hub off and then we'll clean everything. We'll clean all these up. Get the exciter ring off, put a new exciter ring on it. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. I'll also be replacing the studs as well. We'll put new studs in. Not always 
just something we do, just new studs and nuts, so if it's all fresh going back on. So yeah, let's get this off, let's get this cleaned up. We'll go from there. As you see there, I cleaned up all the surfaces. I used a flappy disc to clean where the disc went on, to clean all that up, emery paper after that, just to clean up anything. You've got to clean the surfaces up like that because when you go to put the new disc on, if it isn't cleaned properly, you're just going to make life hard for yourself. If you need to adjust it to put them little bits in, it's going to be hard to adjust if it's just full of crap. So I've cleaned all that up, knocked all 10 studs out. I've cleaned the surfaces for the new studs to go on. New studs in, so, Cleaning wise, we're pretty much done. Um, what I'm gonna do now is turn it back over. We've got to fit the exciter ring um, and then we've got to fit the disc. So I'm going to fit the exciter, I'm gonna fit the disc first, put all that bit in, and get that all down properly and then put the exciter in. So I'm gonna do this video in two parts. Uh, I only started this job sort of late in the afternoon. So I'll get the new disc on, get the exciter ring on, possibly get it on the axle with a new o-ring and then i'll do the talking and that tomorrow because you do need two people because the first set of talk for this is 500 newton meters and you have to t turn it around 15 times and then it's 1300 newton meters so we use a talk multiplier for that uh, but obviously you're going to need two people to do that so yeah let's get this over and then i'll show you the little bits that go in putting the disc and the hub together and then I'm gonna get packed up, ready to go home. So let's get cracking on. I'm calling, maybe I'm selfish. Out, I want you to myself, I can't help it. Oh my, yeah, maybe I'm selfish. You're my ladies, and I can't. Maybe I'm selfish. Let I want you to myself, I can't help it. So that is the near side stripped. Uh, that's from start to finish stripping it. Next part of the video will be putting it the hub back on. I'm going to take the old ABS sensor out, knock that out. I'm going to put a new one of them in. And it's basically just a rebuild, basically backwards of what we've done already. So I'll go through each stage. Obviously, I'll show you the torques, how to torque all the hub nut up and everything. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for everyone who's subscribed liked it commented on any videos you know, i really really appreciate it like it, it means a lot that people are taking their time to watch these videos like it even a comment as well so i really appreciate it uh, i hope you're all still enjoying all these videos um hopefully i'll get this up tonight it's now a tuesday so hopefully i'll get it up tonight even if it's late it'll be hopefully tonight and then i'll hopefully record the next one tomorrow as long as i get onto this job and then i'll get that up possibly tomorrow latest thursday so i really appreciate all your time thanks for everyone for watching and uh, i'll see you all in the next video take care